a student persuaded by his friend to have his legs amputated for $1.3 million. Next. Hey guys, and welcome back to Fish and Chips. I'm Randy, your host, and this is my boy, Brian. And uh, we're so excited to be back in front of you again. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Let everyone know that we're back. And oh my God, do we have a story to tell today. What's Brian, that? what would you, would you, do you have a friend that you allow to talk you into something like cutting off one of your limbs for insurance? Uh, depends on how much. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no way I could do that. And guys, I, you know, you just can't make this stuff up. Let me go ahead and read what is happening and what has been in the news. It says, a student persuaded by his friend to get his legs amputated for a whopping $1.3 million insurance scam wound up getting only $7,200 that he now has to return. Mm. So his legs are amputated, but now he has to return it. Prosecutors, a 23-year-old man in Taiwan, had his mm. legs amputated to receive a $1.3 million insurance payout, prosecutors said. His friend urged him to soak his feet for 10 hours in a bucket of dry ice to get frostbite per investigators. But the plan backfired when medical staff thought his injuries seemed suspicious. A university student in Taiwan who had his legs amputated in hopes of receiving a $1.3 million insurance payout has been arrested on suspicion of fraud, local prosecutors said. So the 23-year-old identified only by his last name, Zhang, Plunged his feet Come on, into a bucket of dry ice mm. for over 10 hours well, to get long. them so badly frostbitten that he would need a double amputation. Mm. Amputation, the Taiwan Criminal Investigation Bureau said in a Thursday release. The bureau said a friend of Zhang's from high school, identified only as Lyo, persuaded him to carry out the insurance scam. Lyo, also 23, suffered losses from trading cryptocurrency, and he tricked Zane into signing a legal note obligating him to, buy, to pay about $800,000 per investigators. According to the local media outlet Taiwan News, Lyo, Lyo told Zane that gangsters were pursuing him. So this is just a terrible terrible idea <laughs> situation idea uh he this he has the worst friend in the world very <laughs> to try to get him to get his legs amputated first you already tricked him to make him owe you money mm. now to since you blackmailing him encouraging him to have his feet frostbitten you know in water yeah only to be cut off medically literally his feet were cut off so yeah, no feet now. The time has come for someone to put his foot down. And that foot is me. So <laughs> it was after that that the medical doctor said, hey, wait a minute, there's some type of foul play here. You know, and then they notified the authorities. Now look, not only did he not get the insurance money, but his he lost his legs over this thing. And you're going to have to go to jail. I, I mean, I just can't put my mind around this, you know, <laughs> and this was a friend encouraging him to go ahead and do this. I mean, yeah. if that's a friend, we definitely don't need no enemies. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when you have some bad influencers. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't, I can't even imagine someone telling me to do something like that and cut off my arm or, yeah. or cut out yes. an eye or, or, or cut off any type of limbs like that for insurance money, you know, to pay some debt off or whatever yeah. and again to have such a friend like that that's so vindictive you know that would do that to him so again now he's suffering with no legs you know going to jail both of them mm. you know of a plan that didn't work and you got to live with that he got to live with that amputation <laughs> yeah, for the rest of his life he won't be able to walk no more <laughs> yeah and they said well they had to cut the leg is right below the calf 
So right below the calves. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's pretty much your whole foot, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much your whole foot. So yeah. yeah, you're gonna be a wheelchair for the rest of your life. So yeah, like, was it worth it? I mean, for mm. a scam, <laughs> bad. I, I just have a hard time with this, and it, and and I'm like, I, I just have a hard time that you would go through that type of to yeah. that extent or to that degree where you lose both your feet and you don't know if you're gonna get the insurance or not. You know, but you're taking that risk of doing that because now you have you can't get no feet back. Mm -hmm. You can't get your feet back. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can only imagine that both of them sitting in jail now, <laughs> him with his friend, him with no no feet, and like we should have thought that through. How did we get to that point? Why did I allow my friend to get me to that point <laughs> where I needed money so bad and and pushing me to do this type thing? I mean, apparently I was not in my right mind thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, this is 23 year olds, man. You know, <laughs> and, I, and I get it. We live in a time now yeah. where there's so many scams and yeah. so many different things. And, and we have to really research what we're doing and who we're talking to yeah. and, or whatever's going on in your life mm -hmm. before you do something like this that he can't come back from that. Mm -hmm. He can't come back from his feet. Even after yeah. you get out of jail, you still have no yeah. feet. That's why I always tell people, tell people, you know, choose your friends wisely, because yeah. <laughs> you don't know you don't know what they're capable of. Mm -hmm. And just like this guy, you know, he kind of took it too far, where homie had to lose two of his feet. And yeah. now, and my thing, you know, the love of money. What would you do? What would you not do for money? Everything. And I think we're in a time now that people, people would do, good. yeah, anything. You have men yeah. that that will sell their wives to, <laughs> for money. I mean, they're, they're selling their kids for money. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like you do anything for the love of money. It's 2024. You know, and I'm sorry, <laughs> I just couldn't do anything for, just for the love of money. I, I couldn't do that. Maybe there's the spiritual side of me, the God factor. I, I think you, I just, just, you just got wisdom. You yeah. know, a lot of people don't have wisdom or common sense. Mm. And you know, end up in routes or situations like this, and you know, are you know even led to doing something like this? You know what I'm saying? Like how how do you get how in the right mind? You know, do you go from listening to a dude, or your mm -hmm. friend, that's gonna allow you to end up in a situation? Well, a friend like that. that's already scamming you from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Now, you know, with cryptocurrency, now he's trying to get you to cut your legs off and and get insurance money to give him and pay off a debt. It's, it's just it's just crazy. But again, you have to be so careful who you're around and who's influencing you you know, to do something because, you know, I just can't imagine someone doing that and cutting their feet off, putting their feet in, yeah, you know, but having their feet amputated yeah. for money. So, for he, so, so he put his feet in, in order for you, for him to get these, I guess these, I guess frostbites or mm -hmm, whatever, mm -hmm. he had to put his feet in a bucket with cold with ice cold and ice water. Yeah. And just for 10 hours. There. Yes. Left yeah, it there. Uh, he uh, left his feet <laughs> in that bucket so he could no, no longer, longer feel, feel nothing. his <laughs> legs. And the doctors at the hospital that they thought about that thought about it, they were like, over the last seven, eight days, it hasn't even been cold Wait. like that. Wait, how, how could this happen? How do you in the right mind even go through that whole process? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for ten hours. I mean I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it hurts. I'm I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it hurts. Well, eventually it got know? numb. If you let that uh, you get past the true. cold <laughs> and now you don't feel it no more, you're like Hey, I don't feel my legs anymore. You know, I don't, there's no more blood circulating and, <laughs> you know, crazy. this type thing. And you get to that point. Yeah. I mean, I just, again, I can't put my mind around it, you know, but I know we, we live in, in, in a time where, where there are a lot of scams yeah. and people are doing people, so much people, for money. Yeah. People do stuff for, you know, desperate things. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, it's, it's just unfortunate and it's sad that is getting to this point of these type of scams where we're physically cutting off our limbs off our bodies and mm. Lord knows what else is going to be happening yeah. or that is happening out there that has simply has not been reported, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm praying for both of those brothers and, um, you know, it, it's really a sad situation, yeah. but it's also a lesson to the wise, you know, don't, don't try to scam, <laughs> you know, uh, it, you know, it comes to, you shouldn't be scamming anyway, but when it comes to the point trying to cut off your limbs just to get an extra dollar or two. Well, I, what know, is it? What? 1.3 1. 1. 1. million? 1.3 million dollars. Well, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> like, 
I guess is it worth it, guys? <laughs> let let us know. Do you, would you guys try it for one point three? Oh my god! I don't know. Me personally, I wouldn't. But I think that's crazy. People. But I I would love to reach out comments and see what y'all think about this story, or or what what do y'all think people would do for money, or or what type of age are we in right now where we want to scam and and do physical or bodily harm to our own bodies mm -hmm. just to get paid by the insurance you know y'all comment below mm -hmm. let us know what you think maybe y'all yeah. know somebody that's done some crazy stuff mm -hmm. you know like like this you know i used to know some people that would basically do like how get in their car like well they would get in their car you know go hit a trash can or hit something mm -hmm. hard or somebody get insurance yeah. off their car yeah you know so i know there's a lot of stuff people do that mm -hmm. could bring bodily harm to themselves and, and i just but think what do you think would happen i mean you know because you've heard situations like that what do you think people's mindset is you know um you think they're just in a low moment or they just need desperate times or you know i mean what? it could be a little bit of all of that and sometimes you can just get wrapped up in wanting money you yeah. know you want to do the next big thing to scam uh, you know somebody or insurance company for you can get money it's yeah. just the love of money a lot of times because Man. there are other ways to do things without breaking the law it just seemed easier <laughs> it, it just seemed easier to break the law yeah so but, um, but but in this case what, what do you think would the outcome be if right you put your feet in there and uh ice bucket for a long time and what well, you didn't think like you, you know you wouldn't get no frostbite on this uh -huh. <laughs> like so he had opportunities to think about what he was doing but he was listening to his friend that wanted the money and he needed to pay him back some money so he oh. did it on the uh, on listen to what his friend was saying oh, okay. and he could handle his debt and whoever else that they need to pay mm. you know by you losing two of your two of your feet for 1.3 million dollars Oh no, so, man! I, I, I like my feet. I, yeah. li I like to walk. I like to run. <laughs> so. I, I, again, I just I don't know the mindset of people. And uh, again, guys, we love to hear what y'all think about this. And uh, you know, let us read what you're saying. And uh, you know, we we're, we're just uh, I'm just in shock. I I don't know what to say on this subject, but um, I'm just praying for him. I'm praying for his family and and anybody else that might be thinking of doing some crazy yeah. scam like that. Think before you're doing something like that. Don't let nobody. You know, your friend, mama, daddy, anybody talk you into cutting off one of your yeah, limbs. Especially for money. a body part. Because, you know, I mean, you can't replicate a body part or you can't get another body. You only got two arms, you got two legs, two feet, you know, two hands, and that's all. Like, I mean, unless you want a prosthetic. I mean, it doesn't, you know it doesn't saying, make but, sense and i guess everybody got their limit what they would do for money maybe i you know uh i mean look at only fans and everything that's going on so well. it's just <laughs> it's, i just you know i have to <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know again guys let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe we love bringing this type of uh material to you to let you know what is going on in our world uh this type of thing so let us know what y'all think and don't forget to like share hit that button and that notification button when you you know another video is coming out as well but until then we are fish and chips